You probably know that vaccinating your pets is safe and inexpensive protection against disease. But did you know there are new vaccines for emerging diseases, and those new vaccines are causing a controversy among scientists and veterinarians? For many pet owners, vaccinating their pets is a simple procedure. While the process is simple, deciding which vaccines to give and when has become more complicated. Several new vaccines for emerging diseases are available to veterinarians, and they need to be given at different intervals. In addition, not all pets need every vaccine that's available. Also, we're learning that some vaccines provide immunity for longer than a year, which means we may be able to vaccinate for certain diseases less than we previously thought. The controversy comes from how frequently vaccination should be given. Some vaccinations are now known to protect our pets for several years, while others protect them for only about six months. In addition, some state laws require your pet to be vaccinated for rabies every year. So what's the answer? The best way to decide is to see your veterinarian and then get a customized assessment of which vaccines you need and which vaccines you don't need. New vaccination guidelines published for both the dog and the cat now try to simplify vaccinations into two categories, core and non-core. Well, core vaccines are the ones every dog and cat should receive. The non-core vaccines are those that your doctor may consider important depending on the unique risks of your pet. Puppies and kittens present a special case because the immunity from their mother is waning in those early months and it's important to boost their protection with vaccines. But once again, each pet should be evaluated for individual risk depending on the doctor's experience and your part of the country. Using the science of DNA, advances in vaccine technology include a series of vaccinations called recombinant vaccines. Dr. Stahl says that for now, it's just as important to visit your veterinarian regularly. Not only does this allow necessary vaccinations to be spread over more time, but it also allows the veterinarian to examine your pet more often, catching diseases early. It would be a tragedy to see your pet succumb to a preventable disease. While there may be some controversy about these vaccinations, it's still smart to see your veterinarian and get the proper vaccinations for your pet. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys reporting.